Honorable Cabinet Secretaries here present, CDF, VCDF, Service Commanders, all General Officers serving and those retired and service members, officers of KDF, your families who are here present, these wonderful school children who have entertained us. Hamjambo. Hamjambo Tena. KDF. KDF. Asante ni sana. Mbele ya ni some hotuba kidogo niko naye hapa ningewauliza kwa heshima ya Malikia ambaye aliaga jana usiku kama tunaweza tusimame kwa dakika moja ya heshima kwa sababu tunajua alipata mamlaka yake akiwa kwa nchi hii yetu ya Kenya Asante ni sana na washukuru. Ladies and gentlemen, since the 9th of April 2013, when I took the office as the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, it has been a journey that we have walked together as Kenyans. I take this opportunity to most sincerely thank all Kenyans for their extraordinary support which they have lent me, which made and continues to make significant contributions towards the prosperity of our nation. In the past almost decade, we marked a critical stage in the implementation of devolution under the new constitution 2010. This system of governance was a vehicle of bridging inequalities and enhancing service delivery to our people. And despite challenges under devolved governance, I do believe that Kenya has attained significant social, economic, and political development and has indeed enhanced its democracy. Our nation, Kenya, continues to be a beacon of peace in the region. The stability and peaceful environment has enabled meaningful development across this country. And to this end, I must note that government institutions collectively undertook various roles to ensure this service delivery. However, it cannot be gainsaid that national security and stability are integral parts of our development. The ever-changing security environment and dynamism called for proactive security apparatuses. The security sector has adequately espoused robust measures to mitigate unprecedented domestic as well as transnational terrorism threats. Indeed, our multi-agency engagement and efforts ensured that the security of our country, but also the stability of our region. And indeed, the commitment of KDF, and indeed all our security agencies, to performing their duties within and beyond our borders has been priceless. 
Investing in the capabilities of the security agenda and agencies was critical to my agenda. The modernized capabilities and the infrastructure setting up at strategic locations around the country ensured the security forces effectively undertook their constitutional mandate. In addition, the geostrategic military installations established in various parts of the country are a milestone for national, regional, as well as global security operations. On the other hand, as has been stated, the National Defense University, Kenya, will also spearhead strategic scholarly discourse in security while safeguarding Kenya's interests in the national as well as in the regional arena. So ladies and gentlemen, I cannot emphasize enough that a peaceful and stable Kenya is founded on our unity but also on our patriotism. The cooperation among ministries, departments and agencies in the whole of government approach is vital in safeguarding our unity. And the Big Four agenda, founded on an unwavering desire to transform living conditions, I do believe is a development blueprint to enhance service delivery and to improve lives through providing affordable universal health care, affordable housing, food security, as well as developing. also been significant efforts in the construction of regional KDF hospitals in Nairobi, Isiolo, Eldoret, Nakuru, and soon Mombasa, amongst others, not to mention the police hospital and the prisons hospital, which are also now complete. These facilities will be able to offer specialized health services to all our security forces. So the infrastructure development during my tenure was a formation of the promise to transform Kenya as a strategic frontier featuring strategic prioritized projects. These include the construction of the SDR, the road network across our country, succeed. They have the potential to influence positive change. And indeed, in the last 10 years, my administration adopted initiatives that saw Kenya spring on the course of realizing gender equality. Policies were championed in government departments and ministries to achieve gender equality and in the empowerment of women in governance. And indeed today, we have two ladies with us, Ambassador Rachel Omamo, as well as Dr. Monica Juma, who at one stage or another were cabinet secretaries in the Ministry of Defense, while we also have our First Lady General Officer, Major General Fatuma Ahmed, and I believe that all of this is progress towards involving and ensuring that gender is taken into account in all policies and in all areas of governance. So ladies and gentlemen, to UKDF, I want to pay particular tribute. I appreciate the support and participation that KDF has rendered not just in the security sector, but also in our national development. We cannot underscore the incredible role that you have had in rehabilitating key infrastructure across the country that had been once upon a time left dilapidated. 
the Nairobi Nyanyuki, the Nairobi Nakuru Kisuma, Kisumu Meter Gauge Railway, the Kisumu Dockyard, Mbita Causeway, the Kenya Meat Commission, just a few. And all these are a dream that have come true to many Kenyans whose contribution to livelihoods, our people, will be hugely impactful, especially to those who live in pastoral areas who now have a consistent and ready market for their livestock. Furthermore, under the affordable housing pillar, through the public-private partnership, the construction of 3,500 housing units for service members in Nairobi, Mombasa, Nakuru, Anya Nyuki has commenced as well as the NCO facility that is being developed in Gilgil. To support the preservation as well as presentation of our history and our cultural heritage, the KDF led a multi-agency team in the construction of the Uhuru Gardens National Monument and Museum, which will be a central place for the preservation of our history and heritage. The Defense Forces counterterrorism efforts, together with those of other security agencies, will continue to be crucial in ensuring our national security. So I salute each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, for your commitment and dedication to duty, your selfless service, who has walked the journey of building our nation with me, and once again, in particular, the Kenya Defense Forces. KDF Oye! KDF Oye! Asante ni sana, mungu wa wabariki. I will miss you, but we are still together. Asante sana mwenzangu, Sergeant Nisango Mbae, Mwishmi wa Rais, Mdaote kwanzia sasa, tutakuwa tunapokea Tamasha Landege. Ikiwa ni Heshma na kukutakia kwa heri ya kuonana kutoka kwa jeshiletu la wanaanga. Asi kwa utaratibu kabisa ni ndege aina ya puma ikilibeba 